Hello everyone. So um, look what I have here. It's uh, it's finally finally here. Um, I have the overpay for the Ryzen 9 3700X because B&H and Amazon when they had the processor in stock last week, they jacked up the price almost uh, seventy dollars. So original price for the processor when I pre-ordered it two months ago or three months ago even, it's uh, four hundred ninety nine dollars and. I have to pay $565 last week to buy one of the 30, uh, this is 30, 3900X um, that they had in stock, um, which is crazy. Like, I usually don't overpay, but since I have bought the rest of the accessories almost two months ago, they're almost out of the warranty at this point. I have to buy this to get the whole setup going. Otherwise, I would be wasting money spending um, buying those stuff that I already did unboxing literally like two months ago. Um, so, and today will be the last time, and actually in this video will be the last time I'm using this current setup uh, for my PC, which is the Core i7-6850K. And uh, it's a six core processor with 12 uh, hyper-threading capability. So, um, over the last four years almost, it has, it has served me uh, quite well in terms of um, helping me getting the you know, photos edited, getting the videos uh, encoded. However, I feel like it's not really up to the speed at this point. And I'm, I was really glad to find out that AMD actually came up with this very, very affordable 12 core, 24 thread processor for only $500. And uh, it would be unthinkable a couple years ago uh, to have such a high high core count processor uh, from Intel because they charge over $1,000 for something similar a couple years ago. That's why I, I wouldn't be able to afford it ever. Um, but since two weeks ago, or since last week, I finally got it. So. Um, in this video, I'm going to be actually um, stripping off my old PC, taking off some old parts and switching some of the new parts. I'm going to be keeping the same case and some of the same components. Look at Hunter. He's just happy because I got the new processor, I guess. Um, so we're going to be doing a, I guess, kind of a disassembly of the old parts and a uh, putting on the fresh blood of the new processor, the new uh, power supply, and the new motherboard. In terms of the uh, the heatsink, uh, for now I'm going to be using the included, uh, what they call this, um, like the, the included heatsink, okay? Uh, but eventually I'm going to be using the, the Noctura uh, NH-U14S which is currently installed on the Intel processor. And uh, I just ordered the free mount from Noctura and they're gonna ship it to me and it's gonna arrive in a few weeks. So we're gonna upgrade the heatsink in a few weeks. But for now, since I'm not overclocking, I'm gonna be testing out the, um, the included uh, heatsink from the AMD, okay? So let's get started. So um, I am also gonna run the Cinebench on the old machine before I actually um, uh, disassemble the hardware, and uh, I because I'm interested in comparing the raw score um, on just uh, the general performance uh, improvements and see how fast um, the new machine can be. Okay, so um, over here I have the Cinebench R20, and uh, uh, basically it just asked me to click the wrong button to start. So I'm gonna, with everything closed off or just on the default, I'm just gonna hit wrong button and test out the score really quick and again this is my current setup so it's gonna start drawing stuff and it's gonna give me a comparison results and over here are some of the existing results of the test score I'm curious to find out where my score is Okay, so we're gonna come back uh, when uh, I actually get a result from uh, from this test. And again, we're gonna compare the same test on the brand new Ryzen 9 3900X and we'll see the, uh, the, the score improvements, okay? So, 
All right, it's a, it's a fairly quick test. So here's my score. Um, in between the uh, Exxon X5650 and the Core i7 7700K. Uh, 7, so my score uh, on this machine is 2681. So that is my score. And uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, disassemble the machine, put on the new machine, and find out on um, uh, what my score is on the brand new machine. Okay. So um, this video will serve as a comparison in terms of uh, the amount of time it takes to encode a sample video footage. So over here, as you can see, this is the footage I recorded using the Ninja Atmos Five. Uh, external recorder on my camera and uh, oh, let's go quick tell so as you can see the elapsed time uh, is about a minute and 30 seconds and the remaining time I want to show you guys is um, as the computer estimated which is two hours um, and so here's the Ryzen 9 um, 3900X processor and uh, uh, again I got literally got it today um, gonna just open it up and then we're gonna set it up in my existing system which I already got it uh, of the old i7 60a 6850k so now the case is kind of ready for the new setup and uh, let me just open up the package take a look at the contents of the Ryzen 9 and uh, we'll start so opening up the seal for the first time find a scissor and excuse me because uh, my cats are mewing because they're kind of hungry so uh, i'll feed them after i finish installing my system okay so seal's broken very first time opening it cool uh, process is right on top so uh, it's reversed okay so it's like that uh, give you a cool sticker if you use it take a look and that's 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 where the 565 dollars went uh, a 12 core um, processor okay See what else is included. I believe the heatsink is included at no extra charge, which is really nice. Uh, some instructional manuals. And oh, here's the heatsink. And take a look. I think it's called Worth Prism, something like that, with a, some flashy LEDs, which I, I'm not a big fan of, but um, it's nice that they include a heatsink. So this is what the heatsink looks like. I may just use this temporarily because um, if it doesn't work as good, I'm gonna sell this and um, uh, use my old uh, Noctura heatsink with the EM4, excuse me, with the EM4 adapter. But uh, this is what the heatsink looks like on the bottom, like that. Um, I think this is, uh, the thermal paste that they already pre-applied so i'm not gonna touch it at this moment this is a heat sink it's not terribly heavy compared to the here i'll show you guys my noctura which is absolutely gigantic compare that to this it's tiny <laughs> okay so again i'm gonna use this temporarily and uh, we're gonna upgrade later on when the when the adapter comes okay
Okay, as you can see, finally I got everything put together. Processors in place, um, the fans connected, uh, memories in place, all the powers are hooked, and all the cables are connected to the motherboard. Uh, PSU is ready, um, hard drive is ready, and uh, so we're gonna put the case back, connect everything, and then power it up and install the operating system. And once we finish, uh, we're gonna do again the Cinebench test, and also I'm gonna um, re encode the video that I did before. Um, the same video that I did on the old machine and see how long it's going to take uh, to encode the video on the new Ryzen 9 3900X, okay? Um, immediately right off the bat, I want to say the design of the motherboard right over here is not so good because as you can see, once I have the uh, GPU installed, the, the fan for the south bridge actually uh, is almost completely blocked. There is only a 30% space for the fan to operate uh, once the system powers up. And uh, that is definitely going to affect the um, the cooling of the south bridge. So not sure how long this motherboard is going to last, but uh, we'll see. Since this is uh, anyway a budget motherboard, I think it cost me $159 or $169. So most definitely budget friendly and uh, so we'll see, uh, but just want to let you guys know that if you have this motherboard, uh, you need to uh, keep this in mind. You guys know what's cool? Um, I thought I'm going to lose the operating system because I've changed my hardware. Obviously, when you switch your motherboard and processor um, and keep everything intact, um, the Windows doesn't think that you have new hardware. Like Windows doesn't need an extra license. It's still using the old license. So it feels like nothing has happened. <laughs> so let me just run the Cinebench really quick. And uh, we're gonna check out the score and compare it to the last test since nothing has changed pretty much. Um, so we're gonna run the test again, okay? And of course, it's going to start rendering. So remember the last Cinebench score with the i7 6850K was uh, 2600 something. And hopefully this one would outperform my old processor. And uh, it's rendering really, really fast, like way faster than, the, than my co old Core i7. So already almost done. So um, let's focus on the score in a little bit. It's going to come up. And uh, so um, as you can see, there is my old processor. This is what I did. So it's, it's at number eight. And now my processor is at number three. It's faster than the old Threadripper uh, 1950X. It's faster than the Ryzen 7, of course. And it's almost as fast as the 60 core. I mean, not almost as fast. It's, um, it's just look at the score yourself. And this is the, uh, let's compare. So the new score is 7,000 and my old score is 2681. Um, way faster. This is way faster, uh, for multi-threading applications. So. I would think the video is going to be as fast as well. So uh, let's close this and I'm going to set up the video and just do a quick uh, encoding and see how fast it goes. All right, since I have uh, switched the processor, nothing has changed. I'm able to reopen my uh, Adobe Creative Suite without any problems. So I'm going to, it's the exact same queue. So I'm going to just restart this queue and we're going to take a look at the estimated encoding time and then uh, we're going to see if there is indeed any difference with a brand new processor. Immediately right off the bat, uh, so much faster on uh, encoding. So it's only a minute past and you can see the progress bar is already quite a lot. And amazingly, look at the remaining time. So remember my last vid, uh, our last section, 
on the old Core i7 6 core, the encoding time is uh, more than two hours. And this one, it's it's about an hour. So this is like twice as fast of an encoding time on the exact same video. And look at all those beautiful cores all working together 100%. It's just crunching out frames and frames. Um, there's 24 hyper-threading cores. And uh, that is crazy. Uh, so much faster, so much faster. So um, if you guys ask me if the update is worth it, if you have a core i7, six core processor, or even eight core processor, the Ryzen 9 3900X is gonna beat their ass up. It's gonna totally beat the core i7s. And maybe some core i9 extremes as well, I would assume. Um, but for me, uh, the performance increase is significant. It it's gonna cut all. It's gonna cut my uh, video editing time by almost half. And uh, you also looked at the Cinebench score, which also measures the uh, the performance of the uh, you know the video editing capability and the rendering capability of the processor. Uh, and that result compared to the Core i7, my old processor, is almost three times as fast. It's 2.68 times as fast as, uh, or faster than the old Core i7. Um, I don't think there's, uh, I don't think I need to do any further testing. The, the processor is way faster uh, for a very affordable price for a 12 core processor with hyper threading capability. So if you guys are in the same boat looking to upgrade, looking to actually improve your video encoding times, improve your editing times, um, the Ryzen 9 3900X is most definitely worth a serious look. And if you have extra budget, look at the Ryzen 9 3950X, which is gonna come out in a few months. That features four more cores, so it's gonna be even faster. For another um, $250 more, you can get a super, super fast um, machine set up for video editing. So thank you so much, guys, for watching um, at this video. If you guys have any questions about this processor, um, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below, and uh, um, I'd be happy to answer for you guys. And uh, so if you do find this video helpful, please do hit the like button, and uh, I would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much, and uh, take care.